Last week I filmed my full handbag collection and found out that I have 40 bags in total, plus two walks that I did film but overzealously edited out, and I have a Horizon suitcase. I don't know why I'm telling you about these extra things apart from that increases my number to 43 and somehow a bigger number sounds better, but is it better? That is actually the focus of today's video. Taking an aside from bags for a moment is not exactly the same thing, but it is kind of related. You would think that more money is always better. A higher income equals higher happiness. But a study back in Princeton in 2010 showed that whilst you do get happier and happier, the more you earn up to a threshold of $75,000, beyond that point, increased income didn't necessarily correlate with increased happiness. And this might be due to increased sacrifices for the job, a more stressful job, and not as much benefit to that additional money. So yes, bags and money are two different things. Money pays for all the essentials in life. But when we're talking about 5,000 pound handbags, money does kind of play a part. Obviously it's personal opinion as to how many bags is too many bags and for some people a one luxury bag might be excessive but those people probably are watching this channel and for some others it might be a hundred or two hundred bags. For me I definitely know the point at which I felt it became excessive and that was after and I'll share this with you later on in the video but I wanted to do my own graph too. I do apologize for the graph maybe my next video should be signs that you need a real job. <laughs> Believe it or not, there are some drawbacks to having a larger handbag collection, which I'm going to display for you on my screen here now. The first one being insurance. If you only have one or two pieces, it's highly likely that your home's contents insurance will cover those. You might need to ring up your insurer directly to get those pieces stipulated as individual items, but not always. In fact, if you go for some really high-end contents insurance, they'll actually accommodate collections worth up to 100 or even £125,000. Point number two follows on nicely from this, which is safety. Because if you have a lot of very expensive items in your home that you regularly take out and parade to the world, it might make you feel not quite as safe in your own home. It also, for me, increases the amount of stuff that I have to do before we go on holiday or for a break, because I like to remove all the items from our house and put them elsewhere. Point number three is space. The more bags you have, the more space they take up. And this not only means actual physical space going from your house, it can feel like clutter sometimes, having fewer bags can just feel nicer, but also keeping your bags safe can be very difficult and safe from each other so that they're not pressing against each other, getting stuck together, color transfer, denting, scratching. And if like me, you love packaging, that's a lot of packaging and I have kept all the packaging because I'm a crazy person. Some of it has not survived because of storage issues, we're not going to pretend it's all here, which is why one of the reasons I'm delaying my vlog sale a little bit for all my SLGs, but it takes up a lot of space and physical space is also mental space sometimes, so too much stuff is not always a good thing. This is probably a lesser issue for people with a bigger house. Our house is not big enough for my handbag dreams. <laughs> Total cost. The more you spend, the harder it is to justify. And while some might say the more you buy, the more you get used to parting with this amount of money for these items, when you look at a full collection and think, wow, that's 75,000 pound, I could have got a really nice car for that, or I could have had a new kitchen for that. It's harder to justify, in my head anyway. This next point isn't necessarily about what you have at home, but the mentality that comes when you are somebody used to buying a lot, and that is enjoying what you've already got. I've always very strongly been of the opinion that I can enjoy what I've got at home and look for my next piece, but I'm not 100% sure that's true. Over the last few months, I haven't had the money to buy luxury goods, and so I am actually really enjoying my stuff at home, but am I enjoying it because I'm not looking for my next piece or because I have a better lifestyle or because I'm generally happier? It's difficult to know, but there is something to be said for not always looking for the next item and just enjoying exactly what's in front of you. It is nice to look for new stuff too though. <laughs> It's the excitement of shopping. So when I first started buying luxury goods, it was so exciting. Literally couldn't sleep the night before, couldn't sleep the night I got it, was excited the next day to get up and have a look at it. I have wanted this stuff for years and it was so unbelievable to me that I was actually buying it. And I love it, it's been really, really great. And I definitely still have a lot of excitement when I buy stuff. It is something I look forward to, I build up to, but I don't have, the extreme excitement that I used to have in the first few pieces. As you go along, the excitement hasn't built for me. It has teetered off to more reasonable levels, but I'm quite an extreme person and I like the extreme excitement. And the more you buy, I don't think you ever really get that back. Even if you go through a period where you can't buy the stuff, I think that is just something you get at the very beginning. 
When I decided to make today's video, I thought I'd do some in-depth research with a 20 minute Google search, looking into whether or not anyone has actually studied the optimum number of luxury bags to own, which yes, might sound ridiculous, but there are plenty of studies out there looking into why people buy luxury goods. And the reason for that is that it informs us about consumer habits and retailers want to know this to optimize their profits. But nobody has studied the optimum number of bags to own because nobody really is going to profit from that. But there are a couple of numbers that I found repeatedly on my random Google search and I want to explain why. So some people out there say the optimum number of bags to own is three because with this you can get a tote bag, a crossbody bag and a an evening or clutch bag, and that covers you for most occasions. Then you have the number five, which is again those first three points, but then usually a larger crossbody. And that means your top crossbody can be a bit smaller, you're covering more occasions, and then whack in your fifth bag it being a travel or sports bag, you're covered for loads of occasions. Or if you're not bothered about that, another one of the above. So you've got a little bit of choice there. And another number, well, two numbers that I saw a lot, as the maximum number that you should own, were eight and nine as the maximum number that you should have in your collection. The reason being doesn't take up too much space. You have a lot of choice there. You probably have five core bags that you use all the time, hence the number five from before, but then you have a few bags that you use on occasions that are a little bit out there, maybe that are brightly colored, a little bit different. And so that's why you see that number there a lot as well. Now I'll be frank, none of those numbers work for me. The number at which I Oh, I told you earlier, maybe I'll block it out and tell you now. Point at which I feel I was at my sweet spot with my collection was about 15 bags. So yes, higher than those figures I've just quoted, but I love bags. I probably want a few more. The reason I'm putting it at 15 was at 15, I had lots of options for how I could store them. I still felt I could use them all on a regular basis. Every bag still felt like Christmas day. I mean, now it's still like a birthday. It's still good times, but it isn't quite as exciting as those first few. Those first few, you can't believe that you're getting it. Now I can't believe it, but for different reasons. <laughs> Beyond 15, I feel like there's some pieces now that I don't reach for the same. They take up a lot of space. I worry about them getting damaged. <laughs> I worry about how I'm going to store them a lot, but I still enjoy them. Don't get me wrong. I'm not looking at selling my pieces. I still really enjoy picking up a bag, but I definitely think if I'd stopped at that point, my level of happiness, my level of pride, pride always before a fall, uh, would not have been that different to where I'm at now. I don't regret anything I've got. If you asked me to sell some now, I couldn't tell you what I'd sell, apart from Senrev and the Alma Bibi. You can overthink it. Just buy what you like. Make sure you can store it correctly. Make sure that you can insure it. That's a really big one because a lot of people don't factor in insurance. But if you're somebody who's struggling to afford the insurance, you're also somebody who probably needs that insurance even more. I do know some people who don't insure any of their bags because they don't care about their bags because they can just buy another one. Great if that's you, that's definitely not me. The reason that I made today's video is that when I made my handbag collection, it felt a little bit weird. It just felt like this is so massive. And and on the one hand, I'm really proud because I worked really hard to get that stuff and it had always been a bit of a dream to have something like that. But on the other hand, I know where we're at in the world right now and it did feel hugely excessive, but I just really wanted to do it. It's an annual thing on my channel. And I just, I wanted to make today's video to say that I don't think you need to have a massive collection. And as much as that is normalized on YouTube to have huge excess, I know so many of you that I speak to who have a one in one out system with your bags. Generally, a lot of people who do that have between, I would say eight and 15, most of you I chat to. So I don't think I'm alone on the 15 thing, but have between eight and 15 bags. And every time you buy a new one, you sell one so that your collection stays the same size. I think that is a great thing to do if that is what you want to. So maybe I will adopt that going forward. I just can't bear to part with anything. Or maybe I won't acquire much more stuff, but I really love buying stuff. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. I don't know. That is it for today's video. I will see you guys very soon in my next one. Bye.